UFOs can be blamed, says the University of Wyoming student newspaper. There is now striking evidence that the cause is not a configurated UFO spacecraft, but what is mistaken for a UFO is something just as new to science. Invisible flying predators, which can be photographed with the aid of an ultraviolet filter 18A and ectocolor film. This was first accomplished by Trevor James Constable, a UFO researcher for a quarter of a century. Constable in Southern California builds equipment which gathers orgon energy or etheric or biological energy. Years ago he noted that his energy gathering devices attracted invisible critters. He also photographed them at 35,000 feet through an ultraviolet filter near a commercial jet. They were invisible to the pilot. To my knowledge, uh, UFOs are not included in any of the training programs. We would, of course, provide instructions to our supervisors on how to handle reports of UFOs, but it's not included in the training of a controller. So I suppose the only way in which it would be included would be in, in I, I assume you admonish these people to be uh, aware of any unusual circumstance. That's right. And, and, uh, and make the pilots aware of what they're aware of. And to this extent, it would, would be included. And they tried to describe it, but it moved at, at faster speeds than anything we had. We didn't have jet airplanes then. Later we measured one that was flying 7,000 miles an hour, measured it on radar. So these clearly exceeded any of our capabilities in 1940s, any capabilities of anybody in the world in 1947. On an average of about twice a month, I would get some kind of a UFO report, and they would see the circular craft, sometimes close, sometimes far, sometimes more than one. I remember uh, a crew describing one sitting on the, on the ice pack, and this is something we couldn't do. We didn't have any way to land up there, and they seemed to be operating in airspace without a visible support base. It took a fantastic base for us to maintain the B-29s, just to support them flying in the Arctic. I even had one crew describe one that they saw underwater that surfaced, rose off the water and flew away. And I found myself stopping and um, looking at this being that was standing in my living room and um, saying, um, stop this, I hate this, um, get away from me. And the next thing I know, I found myself lying down on the couch and a white light hitting me in the forehead and feeling paralysis and uh, waking up um, the next morning and being uh, very afraid and very freaked out and uh, somewhat traumatized, and, to use that word, and then ex telling Jamie. He was really upset. And actually, as I recall, that was the time that you, I thought you were crying. I mean, I felt like he was visibly shaken enough that there were tears in his eyes, and I had never seen him like that. Now you can open your eyes. And I almost wanted to pass that again. Here I am, my eyes finally open, and I can peripherally see my room around me in the ambient light. I always had light on in the house. I'm looking at this thing, and the first thing that I can get to even come to my mind is, Jesus Christ, you look like a fucking bug. Having had that experience and having it just mark me so, having, me, having it brand me like that, my life will never be the same. And just kind of going about, you know, our, our daily lives, going back to managing the hotel, and, and I think it was a few weeks later, or it might have been two or three weeks later, it didn't seem like a... a a long period of time, but within a few weeks' time, I remember lying in bed again and waking up, being startled, and feeling um, something uh, at the side of the bed, and uh, being totally terrified and trying to wake Jamie up, and Jamie couldn't wake up, and feeling some kind of energy go into my lower spine, and it felt like it was just sucking the life out of me, and then passing out again and waking up in the morning, uh, waking up with um, marks behind my ears, uh, behind my, my ear, um, 
and again being visit, being very shaken emotionally about what my experience was the night before. Records still haven't surfaced. The Army tries to state that it was not an official organization effort to try to investigate UFOs, but it was, it was organized by a general. It bore fruit. It came to conclusions it was not popular, i.e. interplanetary spacecraft. And they continued to do exactly what they do today, and that is to be part of a multi-intelligent operation in the recovery of objects of unknown origin, particularly those that are of non-earthly origin.